Hey guys, Dr. Berg here, and I'm going to talk about vitamin D3. Couple points. You never want to take vitamin D2 or any other forms. You want to have D3, that's the natural version. And my product, I, I actually put it in a 10,000 IUs, that's international units. And some people kind of freak out, like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. 10,000 international units, right? But really, um, they changed the values from milligrams to IUs. And so this is like one milligram. It's not that much. So you don't have to worry about it um, at all. In fact, sometimes the doctors will give you 50,000 milligrams once a week to get your vitamin D levels up. Well, there's three causes of vitamin D level problems. Number one, lack of sun. Number two, adrenal stress. And number three, um, no gallbladder or digestive problems because this is a fat vitamin that you can't absorb because the liver and the gallbladder is not functioning to absorb it. But the purpose of this vitamin is to absorb calcium from your small intestine by a factor of 20x. So it improves absorption of the intestine by 20 times. So if you didn't have this, calcium wouldn't really absorb as well. But again, because this, a vitamin never works on its own, it always works with other vitamins, I have to just bring up this K2 with it because vitamin D3 and K2 work together to transport the absorption process of calcium and then the transportation out of the arteries. If you take too much of D3, you can end up with too much calcium in the arteries. So we don't want to do that. But D3 by itself has very specific things. It helps bone pain, it helps lower blood pressure, it helps with mood. It's wonderful for asthma, especially for kids. But again, I'm not telling you this cures anything. I'm just telling you that this supports a healthy immune system, healthy bones, um, healthy cardiovascular, and healthy mood. That's my disclaimer. Because sometimes people say, oh yeah, Dr. Burke says he can cure me with his vitamin. No, I never said that. Um, so that's some functions of D3. Um, yes, we're not exposed to the sun, especially in the winter, so I like to take this definitely in the winter. But if you get enough sun, let's say you get at least 15 minutes of sun, you do not have to take this, okay? Um, on some, some situations, especially if there's a more of a calcium clogging stiffness issue, uh, it's totally okay to take four of this and four of this in the morning, and I recommend this in the morning, take it with breakfast. Um, and even in worse situations, you can take up to you know, seven of these and seven of these if you really want to create some changes. There's not going to be a problem with that. But again, the only, only thing is that if you don't have a gallbladder, you might want to add the gallbladder formula because without bile, it's hard to absorb these. So that's the only point on that. So I just want to kind of give you a little information of like when to take it, and how much to take, and why it's 10,000 I use. Taking like 2,000 is not really good. A lot of women postmenopausal are taking like 2,000 and they're taking calcium. Well, the problem is if you don't take the K2, you're going to end up with uh, calcium problems because that calcium is not going to trans be tr transported into the bone. So women really need this big time, especially for bone health and to prevent cardiovascular issues. And then even worse, if you're not taking any vitamin D and you're just taking calcium, that's a really bad idea because calcium needs these fat soluble vitamins to transport it or else you're just going to take calcium it's going to plug everything up you're going to become a stone and on top of that one step worse one step uh, off the cliff would be taking a calcium carbonate that's in centrum silver it's in a lot of other products but it's that's like taking limestone you're be, you'd be better off chewing on the cement out there so always take like a citrate or a calcium lactate okay hope this helped i will see you in the next video